The status screen will give you an overview of your cameras and what's going on with the cameras right now. Um, on this screen, you have a dashboard on the right-hand side uh, with, uh, with some valuable information like the total amount of cameras, how many cameras are working, how many cameras are configured for recording, uh, the total frames per second being received by all the cameras, the total frames per second being recorded uh, because you can have cameras recording by motion, for example. Uh, you, you can have the total bit rate that the server is receiving from these cameras. Um, and the recording rate. Uh, this, is, uh, this is very interesting uh, for diagnostics. Uh, so for example, if, you have, uh, if, you, if your server has different logic units uh, recording uh, the cameras, let's say like three different logical units, you're gonna see all the logical units in this list. And you can see exactly uh, the recording rate on each unit. Uh, so you have a total recording rate and, uh, and one uh, item for each uh, disk. So you can see exactly how much uh, is being recorded on each disk. Also, what's very interesting from this screen is that you can select a group. And when you select the group, it's going to filter out the cameras. And also the dashboard's only going to show the, those cameras that, are, be, uh, that were, are selected from the group. So you can filter it out and see, for example, uh, um, uh, this group of cameras are, is using uh, 3 megabits per second. And this group of cameras is using 3 megabits per second as well. Uh, while this group here is using 9. Uh, and recording, uh, it's using one megabyte, uh, less than one megabyte per second of my disk. Uh, if I select all objects here, I'm, it's going to show all my objects or all objects that are not part of any group. Another very interesting feature of this screen is that you can right click on the columns and add more information. So let's um, by default, you don't have all the all these information here, but you can select every um, item, and you can have a very extensive list of information. So you have a summary of everything that is happening on your uh, on your system. Um, so this is very valuable. For example, you want to see the bit rate per camera, the the frames per second, the the recording days uh, that you have from those cameras. So for example, here you have recording days, uh, the bit rate per camera, um, the, the model, if the camera is activated or not. So you can actually add all, I'll add all these um, columns here. And you have a very nice dashboard of everything that is uh, happening on your system. And the best thing is you can also export this information and you can save, uh, for example, um, camera status. And now you have a CSV file that you can, you can uh, open on Excel or any spreadsheet editor and you can make a report from that. So the status screen is a very valuable uh, information. If you double click, uh, if you double if you double click any item, you're gonna see some more detailed information on each camera. Uh, but most information that you have here, you also have uh, on the list itself. That could be easier to see. Uh, but you also have the detailed information like I/O ports that you don't have on on on, on the main list or connections like independent connections here. You can have information exactly uh, from the profiles that you have configured on the camera, like recording profile uh, or uh, visualization profile uh, with different resolutions. So you can have more detailed information uh, here on this screen. Uh, 